Well, everybody, we've got a slightly unusual goal today. Reagan and I were down at her parents' house and riding around her grandpa's four-wheeler, and we used to have a four-wheeler that we didn't need back when we didn't have any properties. We used it for a giveaway between the four-wheeler and five grand cash. The winner picked five grand cash, so we were stuck with a super sweet Can-Am four-wheeler, but we had no property at the time. So at the time, we sold it. We sold it for super cheap for four grand. It had like 10 hours on it. It was like pretty much brand new, brand new tires and aftermarket wheels and all that stuff. Awesome piece of machinery, but at the time, we just didn't need it, and it was sitting around our shop. And I was like, we don't need this thing. I don't drive it. We don't have property. Once we have property, we'll buy another four-wheeler. Well, we've got two properties now. I was gonna use the Jeep for the property vehicle. However, an ATV is just more fun. And the other thing about it is too, it's just so much easier to load up and unload and whatever else. And so what we're gonna try to do today is see how much junk we can sell in under 24 hours and see how nice of an ATV we can buy with the crap we have sitting around. First thing we're gonna try to sell today is the Jeep. The Jeep is a 1993 Grand Cherokee Limited. The interior is actually super minty on this thing. It's filthy right now, but it's actually super freaking nice inside. Four wheel drive, 177,000 miles runs and drive, shifts into drive and all that other stuff. But occasionally the reverse doesn't want to engage. And I've already put that information in the listing. I just went up a couple hours ago and I've already got a guy that said he's gonna try to come pick it up tonight. I told him the reverse doesn't work sometimes, just so you know, so you can drive it and sometimes you won't have reverse. He said, no problem. So the Jeep's already got a buyer interested in that. We're gonna try to sell this hillbilly built front bumper for a second gen. We're gonna try to sell those coils. And I'll probably only ask a hundred bucks for that bumper. Coming into the garage, we've got a few things we want to sell. We've got some almost new Honda GCV 160 push mowers. They're the easy starts. They're super nice. They're dusty, but they were like 475 bucks a piece. And to be honest, we don't ever use them. Ever since we bought this property, they've sat and they haven't been touched. I don't know exactly what we can get out of them, but I'm gonna guess 500 bucks combined for the two of them. And then we've got a bunch of dually wheels and tires. We've got two full sets, one for a third gen, one for a second gen, but they're interchangeable either way. Eight on six fives. One of the sets has pretty darn good tread left, probably 50%, maybe 60. The other set, not so much. We've got a set of second gen wheels and tires. Tread's pretty good on these. Probably have about 65%. The rear's probably more like 40. We've got a really nice set of fourth gen tradesman stocks. 90% tread. These tires had less than 2,000 miles on them total since we got that truck. Again, they're dusty, but they clean up really nice and they don't have any rust or pitting or anything on them. These are a nice set of Laramie uh, stocks that came off of a truck that was a uh, 2015. They're pretty nice. Treads really good. I want to say about 75% on those. That's probably going to be another, I want to say $700. Probably get another, oh shoot, six to $700 out of these. First gen stocks, actually two sets of those. One of them's actually got pretty darn nice tread. The other one, not so much. So with all these wheels and tires combined, I want to say we've got at least $2,000 worth of wheels and tires that we can try to sell today. So now let's head off into the barn here. And here we've got two brandy spanking new first gen windshields. I paid about 150 a piece. I'm gonna ask 100. So there's 200 bucks sitting right there. We've got a set of third gen tail lights. I don't know what they're worth. I'll probably list them for like 50 bucks. I don't know if I'll get that, but We'll try. I do have a bunch of scrap metal here as well. I think I'm gonna just put this stuff up for free. I really don't need it, don't really want it, and uh, pretty sure somebody else that needs a little bit more than I do could come up, pick this stuff up, scrap it, maybe help pay a couple bills real quick. Let's open up the barn door here and see, see what else we've got that we can sell. Right here we've got two steel weed trimmers. These are both commercial grade. They're very, very heavy duty. They are the FS91Rs, great pieces of machinery. I don't remember what I paid for those, so I'm gonna have to look that up. We've got two leaf blowers up there as well. We're gonna sell one of the leaf blowers, one of the weed whackers. So that's what we've gotta get started on. Let's start listing stuff and see how much money we can make in the next 24 hours. A few moments later. It is the next morning. Uh, we did have somebody come by and look at the Jeep. However, I think he was just here to screw around with me, which I didn't really appreciate because he said, I have the money, I can be there and get it tonight and he showed up and he did not have the money and he's like, I don't know, man, I gotta think about it. 
and I told him everything that was wrong with it. So anyways, all that being said, somebody that's a much better, much more deserving buyer of the opportunity has been a long-term fan and subscriber. He's bought the merch for years now and uh, he messaged me and he said, hey man, I saw you're selling the Jeep. I'm wanting something to just beat up on the trails this summer. I'm like, okay, well here's the stuff I know about it. Sometimes the reverse works, sometimes it doesn't. Otherwise, if you just put it in drive and go down the road, it'll go 55 mile an hour and straight down the road just fine. And so he said, sounds just fine with me. I'll be there to pick it up. So he's gonna be here soon to pick it up. When I say soon, I mean like in a couple of days. Uh, we did sell the leaf blower. We sold the weed whacker that we were gonna sell. We sold the push mower that we were gonna sell. And that was all last night within about two hours of stuff being listed. Things are going pretty good. There's still some more things we gotta sell. We got somebody coming to pick up some of the dually wheels the same day that we're selling the Jeep. And then we've got another set of dually wheels, a few sets of first gen stocks, some fourth gen stocks. Uh, we got some stuff that we still need to sell. So so let's get to it, we got a busy day. And in Reagan and I's moving process, when we had moved into this place here, we actually left a ton of stuff at my dad's barn. And uh, what we're gonna do is go pick up a lot of the stuff that we left over there that we forgot about, that we just, we, we really don't need and list that stuff for sale as well. And you know, for the people that are wondering, why are you selling all this crap? We really just wanna replace all the junk that we don't need with something that we could use, like an ATV or side-by-side -side or a small tractor. So that's really the goal here, so sell as much of this crap that we don't need and see what we can buy just with the money from the junk that we sell without spending anything outside of that. So we'll see how this goes. It is also your last day to enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash. So if you haven't done so yet, place an order at lmpgear.com and that's all you gotta do to get automatically entered to win this truck plus five grand. We just gave it a nice wash this morning and wiped the entire thing down with microfiber towels. Man, it looks good. Now we have some more stuff that we're going to list for sale. I've got a second gen door panel that's in actually pretty good shape. It's for a mirrors version with the power mirrors. Uh, most of the clips are intact. Uh, the clips themselves, not so much, but the tabs that they mount onto. Most of these are usually pretty tore up and broken. This one's actually not. It's actually in pretty good shape. It's just a little dusty from sitting in the barn. Um, we've got some wheel spacers. They're eight by 170s, two inch second gen tail lights. We've got some second gen tail lights in here. Actually a really nice set. In this box, we've got a second gen intake horn. I believe it's a second gen. It might be, a, might be for a third gen, actually. Then we've got a perfect Ford grill for a 99 to 03 Super Duty. It's actually in perfect shape. It's real dusty. Again, it's been sitting in the barn, but this thing has no chrome peeling. The logo on the front, the emblem's not fading, nothing. It's actually in really great shape. So we got everything up in the truck. We also got all of it listed and we've already got messages coming in on some of the stuff. We got a bed full of stuff. We got some wheels for sale. We got the front set of a set of dually wheels that I have that I had to pick up. ATV tires and a bunch of other stuff. Let's get it all out in the barn. Almost 24 hours now since I listed all the stuff and I'm gonna go over how much of the stuff we sold and what all it added up to within 24 hours. And this is just stuff that we had sitting around a shop that we just don't need. It's been sitting around and uh, we're gonna try to use that money and put it towards a new ATV or side-by-side -side or something, so stay tuned. I might be cheating a little bit here. It's been more about 36 hours now since we listed everything. That doesn't really count because the last 10 hours, you know, I wasn't really selling stuff. I was inside hanging out with my wife and then slept and then got up, made breakfast, whatever. So within the full 24 hours that I was listing stuff and trying to get it in front of people and selling it and whatever, let me go over what all we sold and then I'm gonna add it all up and tell you how much we made just off of stuff that we had sitting around this shop, stuff that we had left at my parents' place, stuff that we left at my parents' other place, like back when I lived there back in 2016, 17, um, early 2018, a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff that was just sitting around and we sold almost, not all of it, but almost all of it in about 24 hours. It was either sold or somebody put a deposit down and said they're gonna come get in a couple days. So let me go over everything. One of the sets of wheel spacers for the Jeep, sold. The other set for the Jeep, sold. The adapters, sold. These rims, technically not sold yet. Um, the only thing is there are two different people that said I'm very interested. I'm gonna see if I can swing by today and pick them up. But none of them said hold it for me. I'm gonna be there 100%. They just said yeah, I'm gonna try to see if I can get around to getting them. You know how those deals go. Sometimes people don't show. Dually wheels, guy's driving two hours for these, so uh, he said that he is going to buy them. So these are sold. These are gonna get picked up today. 
Those are getting picked up today. These I don't have a buyer for yet. I'm only asking 150 bucks for the set. These actually came off of one of the nicer first shins um, that we've had. Uh, these are stocks as well. They're actually in really good shape. They're not like dry rotted or anything. The stack here is sold. Door panels not sold. Two sets of taillights not sold. Um, Duramax mirrors sold. And then some of the other stuff here you don't see because it's sold. Weed whacker sold, leaf blower sold, um, both push mowers sold. The Jeep, the guy is driving two and a half hours to come pick up the Jeep today. And that was two days ago when he said, I 100% want it. I told him everything about it. I'm like, reverse sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. I told him everything about it. He said that he 100% wants it. So let me go over the list of all the stuff that we sold in the last basically under two days. Tell you what all we made in terms of sales on just stuff. Just to be clear, the Jeep is the most expensive thing that we sold and it was $1,100 is what we got out of it. And no, they did not opt to buy it with the dually wheels because they were gonna actually use it for a trail vehicle, which is realistically what it's good for. Jeep, $1,100. One of the push mowers for $300. The other push mower for $250. Weed trimmer, $200. Leaf blower, $100. Because I have two weed trimmers and two leaf blowers. Don't need two of everything. Two sets of dually wheels, $400 a piece. ATV tires with rims that were brand new, 100 bucks for the set. Second gen stocks, 200 bucks. Fourth gen stocks, the SLT wheels over there, $500. Old tires that came off of the dually that actually just got brand new tires put on it, the dually that has been gone for almost two weeks now, that we sold the tires before we even got them back. We sold the tires off that truck for $300 used. They had about 60% tread left. Eight by 170 wheel spacers for 50 bucks. An old set of Duramax mirrors off the 2008 for 35 bucks. And two sets of eight on six five wheel spacers for 50 bucks a set. And with all that added up, I think it comes out to about just over $4,000 worth of stuff, just over 24 hours. I don't know about you guys, but that's pretty impressive. And that's just stuff that we, d we just don't need. And so with all that added up, just of what we sold, not everything that we didn't sell yet, almost $4,000 worth of stuff, which also gives Vinkle fewer things to jump up and perch on, but in the same sense, we get to get rid of all of these wheels and tires and spacers and just old stuff that we just don't need sitting around the shop to make room to park an ATV in here. Well, we got the dually picked up. First thing we're gonna do is wash this thing down. So it's covered in dust and dirt and, oh, got some new tires. We're gonna get it washed up and we'll show you guys when we get back to the house. Here it is, welcome it back to the channel. Feels like it's, feels like we're picking up a brand new truck since it's been gone for so long. So let me go over what all happened with the truck and explain to you why the truck took longer than it should have. It was supposed to be there for like two or three days, it ended up being like two and a half weeks, maybe three weeks, I don't even really remember now, it's been a while. First off, the truck needed to have, well, it didn't need to have new tires. We chose to go with new tires. Let me actually show you the tires that I took off of this truck. And before anybody asks if they're gonna be for sale, I actually already had a guy make me an offer on the tires before they were even listed for sale. He was here buying another set and he said, hey, do you have any other tires? How about anything that fits a 16 inch wheel for a dually? I said, funny you should mention because I just got brand new tires put on my dually that's leveled out and it's running 285, 75, 16. So he's like, that's what I want. I said, okay, they're yours. And I'm selling them the whole set for 300 bucks. They've actually got really good tread left on them. It did also get a new windshield. And let me show you that windshield because the windshield that was on it was completely split right down the middle and it was just not fun to drive. So we got a brand new windshield put on it. That's why there's the tape on the top for whatever Safe Flight says to put tape on the top for 48 hours and then take it off. That's what they do when they install them. I don't know why, that's just what they do and that's what they recommend. You are probably wondering, cause you're like, okay, tires are like a one day thing. Windshield's like a one day thing at most. Really, it's like a one or two hour thing. So why was the truck there for two and a half weeks or three weeks or whatever it was? I really, I lost track of time. I really don't even know how long ago it was. The truck, apparently when I bought it, I went to test out the four wheel drive. 
not one not before I bought it this is after it's already here after I towed with it per day like I'm getting I'm going out here and I'm like testing the four-wheel drive and I'm like there's no four-wheel drive it's got the four-wheel drive shifter it's got a big front axle it's got a front drive shaft in it but there was no four-wheel drive and I'm like what is going on so then I'm looking underneath and the in two-wheel drive the front drive shaft just spins like it just freely spins which I think technically it's supposed to with the vacuum system it doesn't only engage the transfer case it, it activates some vacuum driven uh, fork that engages the uh, axles inside the axle and then it just nothing was working they were like okay maybe it's your vacuum pump so like no it's not your vacuum pump because the vacuum pumps brand new well he's like but there's no hoses running down to it so maybe it's just the hoses it didn't end up being the hoses they thought maybe it's the wrong vacuum pump because the vacuum pump that's on it didn't have the ports there for the hoses that are supposed to go from the vacuum pump down to the axle itself you know it didn't have the ports but then they ordered in a new vacuum pump to see if you know the the correct one and it you know it still wouldn't have worked and they're like we're looking at this and there's no way this is going to work so what they ended up doing was but they said that there's some fork that essentially engages the front axle shafts inside the axle and what they ended up doing was making some bracket or some fork or they modifying it or something to where then the front axles are engaged full time but the front axles are engaged full time but not the front drive shaft obviously that's something totally different it's going to be to where the front axles are engaged but obviously if you want to engage the front drive shaft to power the front axles that's still mechanically driven with the four-wheel drive shifter on the floor so when it's not in four-wheel drive your rear wheels are going to be the only thing putting out power but the front ones are going to be technically engaged to themselves but not engaged to the power coming out the transfer case and it sounds really like kind of you know weird but like I'm thinking that's actually a pretty common failure on these trucks is for the vacuum systems to get go bad or hoses or whatever. So now essentially the, what the truck is and this is what they told me at the shop. They're like essentially all we did was we made it to where now it's actually a fully mechanical four wheel drive system. And we just got rid of the vacuum um, idea because there already weren't vacuum lines running to it. And the vacuum pump that's on the truck apparently technically doesn't have the ports for this um, four-wheel drive system because apparently they put a new vacuum pump on it the previous owner but apparently it wasn't the right one so it works for the heat and AC and stuff and whatever else but it doesn't work for the four-wheel drive so I don't know how those systems work that's all I'm telling you what they told me based on what they saw so anyways essentially now we do have four-wheel drive again and I did just drive the truck all the way here and even they were telling me like even though the front axle shafts are engaged technically at all times now instead of the vacuum thing engaging them it doesn't turn choppy it's not choppy on the road it doesn't drive like it's in four-wheel drive if that makes sense anybody who knows what it's like driving a truck in full four-wheel drive when you're driving it's clunky it's choppy when you're making sharp turns like it's like you know like it feels like it's skipping well it doesn't do that and they said that too they're like and listen when we did this we test drove it just to make sure like it's not going to be like an uncomfortable ride and it's not like it drives like it should drive in two-wheel drive but when you engage the four-wheel drive now it's all mechanical and there's no vacuum system they have to rely on to engage it so at the end of the day we have four-wheel drive again and i might have sounded like an idiot trying to explain what they did but I did my best. So that's essentially why the truck was gone for so long, but I hope you guys are ready to get this thing going. We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna be getting new tail lights, new third brake light. We're gonna be doing compound turbos and injectors and uh, I mean, just a ton of stuff. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We got some interior pieces as well. It's gonna be getting completely stripped down and repainted from the ground up. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. We're keeping the same color though. It's called Maximum steel metallic i love the color it's super rare to see on one of these older trucks because just obviously it wasn't a factory color so people have to do it themselves it's going to look so good having fresh paint and no more rock chips on the fenders um, or fading on the hood it's really hard to tell because of the color to see the fading on the hood but it is a little bit faded so i'm super stoked I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited. So hopefully enjoyed that video of selling all the stuff that we could within that 24-ish hour period, making a bunch of cash, selling a bunch of crap. I actually already sold a few things this morning and I've got a pretty good pile of cash in my pocket just from junk that we've sold this morning alone. I was out here at 8 a.m. already selling stuff. It was kind of a fun little fun little thing. Let's see how much stuff we can sell out of the barn within a 24-hour period. It's a fun little challenge. Made several thousand dollars selling crap that I don't even know why we were hanging on to. This is your last day to enter to win this 1992 12-out Cummins plus $5,000 cash. 
It's only got 86,000 miles on it. It's pristine condition. Trust me guys, you want this truck, it's awesome. And all you gotta do is place an order at lmpgear.com and every $1 gets you 20 entries. It's your best chance for entries and your best chance and opportunity at winning this truck plus five grand. It's gotta go to one of you guys, might as well be you. Anyways guys, thank you so much for all the love and support over the years, you guys rock. Oh man, I'm gonna miss that truck. Anyways guys, last chance, giveaway ends tonight at midnight. Peace.